They say every fight is your most important fight. I want to be the first known Native American in the UFC. Nobody's ever actually represented the people who lived here first. My name is Brock Lachala Tushka Weaver. I'm 27 years old, fighting out of Port City in the May, and my goal is to get my people federal recognized. I was born in McIntosh, Alabama. It's, it's an Indian reservation in the Mobile Choctaw. Growing up there was pretty rough, I would say, because fighting was a thing that everybody kind of got tested at early, and uh, I was fighting pretty much every one of my friends. We battle tested each other, and, and what growing up like that is what has gave me the heart and the toughness that I got now to when I started learning how to fight to just endure it. I'm 14 and 4. Professional MMA record. What makes me dangerous, I think, on fight night is the spirit of the warrior. And something else kicks in me. And uh, I've always been told I had a tenacity and the energy that people like in the ring even before the fight, the walkout, everything. It's just, I can feel it, man. It feels like I'm in a movie. When I'm in my movie, man, I call the shot. So this fight is gonna be a fast paced fight because I'm gonna keep the pace that way. If this fight stays on the feet, I think I will definitely get a TKO. If the fight goes to the ground, I'm gonna catch him in a give team take his neck back to the reservation. I feel like I was born to fight. Every single fight, I try to make sure that everybody who's watching will never forget watching Devin Smith fight. My name is Devin Smith, 23 years old, Mercy Lago MMA. My goal is to reach the Hall of Fame. MMA just gave me hope. It gave me hope that I had lost. The last time I went to jail, I was tired of wasting my life. I was tired of doing all the, you know, terrible things that I was doing that that lifestyle led me to. That's not the person I wanted to be. That's not the person who I was, you know, and I was leading a, leading on a, a lifestyle that um, I guess wasn't in my blood, you know. And I figured that out when I was sitting in jail, and I was like, man, I could be doing so many more great things with my life. You know, I have a gift. I truly believe that, you know, in terms of fighting, and that's what I was put here to do. One of the most important people, especially male figures in my life, is, you know, the new Hall of Famer Rashad Evans. He started, I guess, as a mentor with me at age seven. I was at a uh, sort of youth uh, wrestling team called Spartan Lightning, and I remember Chris Williams was the coach, and Rashad and other MSU wrestlers would come in and help the, the kids out and do all this, and I remember he was one of the only African-American wrestlers on the team, so immediately that was, like, my guy. Rashad never turned his back on me, and he just believed in me. You know, and this is just a testament to what kind of character Rashad has. It's just truly amazing. I'm 9 and 1 as a professional. I have a TWC Total Warrior Combat Super Buffalo Warrior title. I truly believe that there's just nothing that Brock offers me. My striking is better than Brock Weaver's. I'm quicker than him. You know, he can take a lot of damage, but we can see how much damage he can take. You just better hope that you're more violent than me because I'm probably the most violent person you've ever been fucking like. I am Ray Rodriguez, 31 years old, fighting out of San Antonio, Texas. Uh, after I graduated high school, I joined the Army and been in San Antonio since. Once I joined basic training, I was kind of exposed to this block of instruction called combatives, and they just had you grapple from the knees, and I did fairly well. It was called the king of the ring for basic training, and there was no weight classes or anything like that, and I wound up winning. Once I got out of basic training in AIT, they had the same thing, and they had another king of the ring tournament, and I wound up winning that. So I was already kind of in love with the sport because of the Ultimate Fighter. I was a big UFC fan, and I found out, one, I loved it, and two, I had a little bit of skill set in, in grappling, you know. That's how I was exposed to it, man. I just fell in love with it. And I still implement a lot of my um, combative training into the way I fight, you know close the distance, gain dominant position, and finish the opponent. The way I'm gonna get the contract is putting this guy to sleep, you know, whether that's with my fists, my elbows, my shins, or my knees. From the first bell to the last bell, I'm trying to go out there and finish. There should be no reason for you to take it to the judges. I want people to leave the arena and be like, God dang, that guy was looking for the kill, because that's what fighting's about. And that's what Dana wants to see, you know, he wants to see high level combat. So that's what I'm bringing to the table and, and I'm looking forward to bringing a highlight reel finish to the Contender Series and right in front of Dana White. My name is Tony Ravley. I fight at Attack of Man Fitness Academy in Christiansburg, Virginia. I'm looking to win that UFC contract and become the next UFC Bantamweight World Champion. The main reason I fight, it, it's, it's, I think it's something that's in my blood. I grew up in a martial arts household. My dad taught Taekwondo, so I first started Taekwondo probably as soon as I could walk. My dad and I used to watch UFC since I was about six or seven years old. So it's always been a goal of mine to fight in UFC. 
Now, I don't do it for the money. I don't do it for the fame. I do it for the honor, the pride. I fight to represent myself, my family, my teammates, and everybody from a small town looking to do big things. You know, I had to pick. Do I really want to fight, or do I want to focus on my career, construction project manager? It's one of those things where, for me to do something that I truly love doing, even making a lot less money, felt a lot better than, you know, doing something that I didn't want to do. So, to be this close, it's just overwhelming. <laughs> There, there's no way I can I can be denied of my dreams. Ray Rodriguez is, is a tough fighter. Uh, he seems like a great guy, but um, unfortunately, it, it doesn't matter. I, I'm gonna have to go out there and be violent. You know, I'm, I'm gonna have to stop him like everybody else. And I'm gonna keep hitting him until he doesn't want to fight anymore. And uh, I'm not gonna leave Las Vegas without that UFC contract. If I go out there and I showcase my, my skill set to the fullest and knock this guy out, there's no doubt in my mind I'm gonna get that contract. I'm determined, dedicated. I'm gonna show the MMA world that I may not be the biggest, but I'm one of the best. My name is Heather Malajovic, and I fight out of Black House MMA, and I wanna be a champion in the UFC. I'm 5-0 as a professional fighter, and it's all finishes. Knockouts, submissions, I'm a killer, dude. I'm from Stockholm, Sweden. I'm proud to be a part of uh, the Swedish MMA community. They have produced great fighters like Ili Latifi, Alexander Gustafsson, a lot of guys that fight internationally uh, and have uh, very good results, and I believe uh, I am one of them. I'm hoping to show the MMA world that I belong in the UFC and that I will be a force to be reckoned with. This opportunity that I've gotten, it's the most important opportunity I've ever had in my life. Nobody's gonna stop me from getting this UFC contract. My name's William Knight. I'm a father of five and I'm working on the UFC dream. I fight for people without a voice. I used to be that voice that was never heard and now I have a platform where I can be the voice for others. I was picked on and bullied a lot at school. It went to a point where I'm walking down the hall, this kid he ran up to me, punched me in my mouth, blood everywhere, and just kept walking. And told my grandmother she came up to the school trying to figure out what's going on because the teachers weren't doing nothing. Until that one day, that one day, I retaliated and put my hands on a kid that put his hands on me for the longest and then I got expelled. I use that today to go to school. And I talk to little kids because I feel like like it's still going on that little kids are afraid to speak out. And I let them know it's okay to speak out. So a UFC contract would mean to me that there is hope and hard work. I get that excitement because it's like a revenge thing to me. All these years that people were picking on me and everything I've been through growing up, my opponents get that frustration. I'm on a mission, I'm gonna get the finish. First round, nothing past five minutes. For William Knight, it's a real breed, but in the end of the day, I have everything it takes, all the tools to dismantle this guy. If he tries to stand and throw with me, I'm going to knock him out. I was bullied, abused, went through hell, and I'm ready to give it back. I'm Shanna Young, I'm 28 years old, and I fight out of Knoxville Martial Arts Academy. On December 18, 2010, my life changed. My son Chase was born, and I started having this recurring dream, almost like a nightmare, that I was missing some part of my life that I just felt like I had to go find. And I decided to move to Tennessee and continue pursuing a career in MMA, and I left him with my parents in Virginia. It was a really tough decision, but with this dream looming over me, that was more painful than leaving Chase with people that I knew would take care of him better than I could. And then once I found MMA, I realized that this is what I was put here for. I was put on this earth to be a fighter. Nothing else has ever mattered as much. This is what I've decided is, is gonna be my life and I'm gonna keep going. From day one, this has been my goal. I knew I was gonna be here fighting for a UFC contract. This opportunity is everything. This is, you know, the thing that I've been working for my entire life. And if I were to get this contract, I could be a better provider for my son. I could be there for him. I could spend more time with him. Maybe get him involved more in my life in MMA. This would be the fulfillment of 
my life goals. This is what I was meant to do. And Sarah Alfar is not going to stand in my way. My name is Sarah Too Sweet Alpar, and I fight for all the, the women and girls who need a hero. Growing up, I was always the girl who wanted to do something that other girls didn't do, and I was bullied a lot. It put in my head this low self-esteem that I wasn't you know, pretty enough, good enough. I think that was part of the reason why I was attracted to the kids who kind of had it rough, and it led me to some abusive relationships. In one of my relationships, my boyfriend at the time backed me into such a corner that I'll try to fight back, and next thing I know, my face lands into the dresser and split my lip open, and I cut my, my eyebrows, so I have scars. It's a reminder of all that violence that went on. I started doing MMA in the mix of all that, and fighting stuck with me. It kept me going, because being on the mats was, that was my sanctuary. It took me away from the outside chaos that I was so involved in. It's given me the opportunity to stand up for myself and to know that I'm worth something. I have fought my whole life, and now I can put all that hardship and all that hurt to use the octagon to fulfill this dream that I have right now. And I'm gonna do whatever it takes to win. I'm not afraid to hurt somebody. I just wanna get in there, I wanna do what I do. I wanna punch Sarah Alpar, I wanna put on a show, I wanna finish the fight. I wanna show the world and everyone watching that I'm strong and powerful and I'm mean. <laughs> I might just knock her out.